Imagine Final Fantasy VI, with its well-written story, engaging characters, class system, experience points and levels, elemental magic, special abilities, and party building. Now, imagine that it's a deck-building collectible card game. Oh, and everyone's robots. Welcome to SteamWorld Quest, Hand of Gilgamech. The SteamWorld series has a tradition of finely crafted games with unique and engaging mechanics and systems, and SteamWorld Quest carries on this tradition by marrying an old-school RPG with a deck-building CCG. At the start of the game, you just have two friends out in the woods looking for some mushrooms. Unfortunately, as so often happens in these fantasy worlds, some bad guys attack their village, and they find themselves on a mission to take down the forces of evil, and struggle with the forces of classism. As the story progresses, you encounter new characters who join your band, each with their own abilities. But you can only have three active characters in each battle, so you need to choose carefully. You can also purchase new equipment and even craft and upgrade new cards at the Traveling Merchant, who somehow winds up appearing everywhere you go. At any time outside of a battle, you can select which characters you want active and choose which cards to put in their decks. Each deck must have exactly eight cards in it at all times, so you need to carefully select which ones you include for each battle. This is especially important when facing off against enemies who have a strong resistance or even total immunity to a particular type of damage. I'm looking at you purple slimes with physical immunity who are constantly healing themselves- ARE YOU KIDDING ME?! Ugh. But most of the gameplay is centered around battles. Combat looks like a JRPG, but plays like a CCG. Each round, you can select up to three cards to play from your hand. There are various types of damage based on an elemental system, and different types of damage are more effective against different types of enemies. Many attack cards have additional effects, like the chance to make an enemy flinch and miss their next turn. And of course, there are also plenty of cards that add positive and negative effects or heal, sorry, repair your characters. The most basic cards are free to play, and each one that you use will add a gear to the bar at the top of the screen. These gears are used to play stronger and more complicated cards. Managing these gears is a big part of combat. Additionally, if you create a chain by playing three cards from the same character in one round, they'll also play a bonus card based on their weapon. On the other hand, some cards work better with teamwork, and if you play one of these immediately after a card by a specific teammate, its power will be increased. Altogether, the combat system is complex enough that you'll need strategy and planning to succeed, but simple enough that it's not difficult to learn and understand the mechanics, all spiced up with a dash of randomness as you draw new cards from the deck. And if you fail a battle and your whole party dies, you just reload from your last save, almost always right before the battle, since the game auto-saves frequently. And give it another try, this time with the benefit of the knowledge of what's to come. And if it's really just too tricky, you can always change the game's difficulty level at any time. And what about accessibility? I don't have any complaints. There are options to disable things like screen shake, rebindable controls, and anything represented by a color in the game is also represented with a unique symbol, so colorblind players should have no trouble. And there's a chapter select menu, so you can even replay completed areas as many times as you want to find missed treasure and items or grind for experience, though I haven't found any grinding to be necessary, at least not yet. I wish more developers paid as much attention to accessibility as the folks who make SteamWorld games. Overall, it's just a well-made, fun game. I've played eight hours of it so far, and I can't find anything to complain about. Well, except for those purple slimes, I will burn you, you infuriating pieces of- Well, anyway, that's about all I have to say about SteamWorld Quest Hand of Gilgamech. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some bad bots to smash. Oh, and if SteamWorld Quest Hand of Gilgamech just isn't your kind of game, don't worry. I'll be back soon with another new indie game, and who knows, that one might just turn out to be your new favorite game. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.